Hey guys, welcome back to Guys With Games. I'm Teacher David, and today I've got a game for you and your students where your student's job is to make very, very long sentences using the same starting consonant. And the game is called Alliteration Nation. If you don't know what alliteration is, go ahead and look that up after you watch the rest of this video. But hopefully I'll explain that here. So, I'll choose a letter for my class to use as their starting consonant. So I usually start with a letter like A, and I know that's a vowel, but the job of the student is to make a sentence with A being the starting letter in as many words as they can. And they have to have the sentence be gram grammatically correct, otherwise they lose a point for each grammatical error. So here's an example. An ant is awesome. I don't know why anyone would write that, but let's say they did. That team would get one, two, three points, okay? It's not a very high scoring sentence. But if another team is able to have five words that starts with A and they're grammatically correct, then their team would get five points. And at the end, I'll go ahead and mark their table, I'll give their table a star if they were the team with the longest sentence. So let's say team number A, this is a team, I'll give them one star. I usually break the students up into groups of about two or three. That way everyone gets a chance to make a sentence each round. Um, and then finally, and also it's better for cooperation. Uh, finally, at the end, let's say team A has two stars, one star, three stars here for team D. So they're winning right now. I'll usually go myself against team D. So I'll, I'll let them choose a letter, maybe they choose S, and I'll write down a sentence and they write down a sentence and we see who can go further. If they beat me, then they win. If not, they still win because they beat everyone else in the class. But it's a lot of fun for the students to try and beat the teacher. So we're gonna do an example of how the game works in theory, but let me just tell you, I do usually give my students about 30 seconds to a minute to come up with their sentences. Again, they're working in partners or groups of three, so someone might say, oh no, let's change the idea, let's make it longer. But I have them work at their desks. For the example here, Carson, Jimena, and Dustin are gonna come to the board, but I have them work at their desk so that other people can't steal ideas, like, oh yeah, octopus starts with O, and they add that to their sentence because they can see the other student's sentences. But right now we're gonna give you a, a live example. They don't know what letter they're gonna get. We're gonna do it right here, all right? Come on up. Okay. You guys have five seconds left. Oh. Wrap up your sentences. All right. Time is up. Marker's down. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So, afterwards, after the students put their pencils down, I'll go around to each table and have the students read their sentences aloud for the class. We'll start with Carson. Can you read your sentence? Silly Steven says something surprising seven times every seconds. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's got one, two, three, four, five, wow, six, seven. But he said every seconds. That's a grammatical error, so I would take away one point. So instead of seven, Carson actually gets a score of six. So he made that mistake on purpose. He's not that dumb. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, let's check the next one. Oh, wait, no, that was an accident. Okay, let's see here. Can you read your sentence? Sandy shakes her shoes out to shake out the sandy mess she gathered at the shore. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Sandy shakes her shoes out to shake sandy she Sure, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points and no grammatical errors. Seven points for Jimena. Carson has already lost the game. <laughs> All right, last one. one oh, the, the, the slimy, slimy snakes, snakes slithered slowly through the smoky swamp and swam. Mm, okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we've got a tie here. 
It's a very interesting turn of events between Dustin and Jimena. I would have them paper, scissors, stone, and the winner would, sorry, or rock, paper, scissors, and the winner would get a star for their team. And that's Alliteration Nation. <laughs>